Hello and welcome my friends back at MSI and here we have it the TL versus TES starting point for the main stage it's best of fives all day every day for the next couple of weeks more or less you get what I mean and it's going to be fantastic let's just see what TL can do right FlyQuest maybe a bit of a disappointment right I had the video recorded but ah uh, it's like I don't think, uh, yeah, I would have added to the conversation, right? We all know what happened to FlyQuest. Big props for PSG for playing out of their minds, but uh, let's leave that be and let's see what Umti can do, man. I rate that guy relatively highly for what he did at TL, for what he did for the team, right? To again, finally win another title in years it has to be, right? I think wasn't their last title in like 2020 or 19 or something like that. Uh, yeah, it has been a while here. T1, uh, TL's bottom lane just gets absolutely destroyed, right? Scoreline was 0-0 for both of them. But uh, yeah, quickly they got decimated. Okay, and uh, yeah, about the draft, we can talk about a couple of different things, right? Uh, we have uh, Lushinami. Let's see what Cream can do uh, with... Um, what's his name? The Way. And uh, yeah, even though... Like TES comes from the play-in stage and uh, all of that. Uh, like TL is the champions of the region. We all know how this is supposed to go, right? We all know who the favorite is, and uh, yeah, if TL gets one game, that's um, that's a miracle, right? Especially with FlyQuest performance, which obviously was like worse than it's like it should be, right? It's like they're a better team than what uh, what we saw clearly, but. Uh, doesn't change the fact that they uh, still uh, fuck up. Uh, similar to Umti here, like he took five turret shots for free. Regardless, I mean here, and uh, yeah, the second Herald, second Herald? <laughs> At the Herald take, right? Um, with all the plates, so like 14, yeah, 14 minutes. The gold deficit is 2,000, two drakes, six grubbies, all neutral objectives. I was about to say, oh, maybe it's not that bad, but now Herald goes in their pocket. A, like a free top lane turret goes in their pocket. Uh, yeah, Team Liquid might want to like start playing the game. You might want to start contesting uh, with uh, yeah DS. They will get another kill here, secured by Yon, 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 Yon. Uh, yeah, exactly. And uh, maybe that will be the way to victory, right? The Kalista, obviously. Um, yeah, it's Kalista. You know how I feel about that champion. Okay, Jackie Love here gets grabbed. Will he be in danger, right? He's nearly all of the damage. It will be picked up by Yon. Okay, maybe now that's the moment that Team Liquid has waited for. 369 and Cream still have uh, a good amount of damage, right? And approaching this team is still very difficult. Maokai Oldo buys a lot of space. Umpti gets dragged into the enemy team. Gets randomly... Oh my god, the hitbox, hitbox of that Urgot ult was quite ridiculous. But regardless... Even with a good start, right? Even with assassinating Jackie Love, TL still can't win the fight, man. Obviously, 369 with the flashy play, but Cream did so much damage as well. Now, the gold deficit. I mean, it has not grown substantially, but again, the neutral objectives are being recruited by the TES lineup. It's like, who's going to stop them, right? It's not going to be TL uh, for now, at least, okay? Now they're looking for uh, like a pincer maneuver here, okay? But there's Jackie Love, just goes in, straight into the backline, dodges everything that's like randomly thrown into his direction. The TL side also can't even win, uh, like the other side of the conflict. Yeah, it's, it's not looking good, it's not looking good. Uh, here impact again, it's like... Okay. Now I at least, right for now, I can be happy that I put Broken Blade in 5th spot for... Uh, um, exactly for for top laners right umpti though i think i placed him above tn and so far in this game uh, it's a bit iffy right obviously jungle is very team dependent uh that's uh, sense right but yeah so far like i wouldn't say umpti has like into the game or something or that tn has carried it completely uh i think for both of them, the game really went uh, away from them right I mean, they have high kill contributions, but uh, we'll have to 
keep our eyes on the jungle matchup, which is, uh, yeah, in my eyes, the most interesting one. Right here, OB. Okay. Tries to go to the side. And, uh, yeah, his teammates are not even blocking, like, Lucian ult. I mean, what can they do? What, what can he do, man? I mean, they're not doing anything to, to help, right? Crazy. Uh, sure, like, what was he doing there? Again, it's like, if you're a jungler, you have to get vision, right? So it's not that bad. Um, but yeah, I mean, this game is, like, completely over, right? Uh, Team Liquid has, like, no realistic pick potential. They have zero damage. They they have nothing, right? Absolutely nothing, right? As much as I always shit about Lucian Nami, right? I mean, if that shit gets ahead, what the hell is happening here? And that Tristana just got 1v1 by an Urgot. Okay, yeah. Looks, looks, looks great. Appa will also not beat any allegations. Okay, next AD carry versus Urgot. Um, yeah, uh, here's the slow and now you have to run away. Flash for flash and heal, right? While the team also got Baron. Yeah, uh, and oh yeah, here. Uh, Urgot got revenge for like, Poking him. I mean, it's unbelievable, like, uh, what TL has also, like, come up with. Right? No disrespect to their players, but, like, I don't know. Is, uh, is this style of composition really, uh, what really plays towards their strengths? Kinda not believing that, uh, fully. But, okay, as expected, TS stomp game number one, like, next to no contest, like, whatsoever. Uh, yeah. It's just, uh, I mean, this is uh, this is a very depressing one, but I mean, like the TL draft is like more scaling, but uh, they have no way to like actually come back once they have scaled, right? They have no comeback mechanics, and uh, yeah, we're watching the Korean uh, the Korean channel, the Korean highlights, right? Uh, to to get things over with, right? Uh, anyway, thank you for the commentary. Let's go into next game. Okay, coming here into game number two, let's take a short look at the draft TS. Scaling, very much scaling, frontline, AD, AP damage, range, CC uh, abilities right here and there. Uh, the team fighting overall also pretty good, although they can't be too brazen with uh, how they play it. Let's take a look at the other side. Oh my god, what are these champions? Fully overpowered, right? Rek'Sai in top lane still decently. Wait, it's Rek'Sai in jungle. Uh, oh, and it's also... Okay, so, you know, Nautilus is a pretty powerful champion right now, so let's see how they can utilize it. And, I mean, double dragon, right, if you get to scale up, then, uh, I mean, you're, like, literally invincible. There's no way you can be stopped. Impact, what the fuck was that? One of these two guys, like, fucked up a lot. Not sure, Umti, if that was the correct path to take. But uh, yeah, Impact or Umti, one of them like fucked it up, right? The coordination on that play was not on point. Uh, but uh, what? I, at least a one for one is not too bad for the NA representatives, right? They have double dragons. They have uh, solid champions for like the mid game. Uh, what is Core doing? Okay. Anyway, they baited. I guess it's a good bait. Oh my god, you won. You can just follow flash for flash there, no? And you get the kill, which is like accelerating you, which is like worth it or something. Okay, TN gets another point, right, on the scoreboard in terms of like a d the jungle contest, right? Who is truly fifth or fourth best jungler? We'll have to see. But anyway, I mean, TL, their comp is uh, it's not terrible, right? They they just need to play ball. But, like, I don't know what this bot lane is doing there. They are uh, doing many wild things. Anyway, TN already here. Again, where where is Umti? Not sure. I mean, he's also sabotaged because he has to play Rek'Sai jungle in... What, what year do we have? Oh, God. I mean, there, one guy is worse than the other on this TL lineup here. I mean, it's it's actually wild. Appa is now here. Where, like, Umti is like looking for a gank in top lane. I mean, that's that might not be too bad, right? Getting uh, like impact ahead could work out favorably. But are you losing also the Drake? Let's see. I mean, this is a very easy gank to pull off. I mean, okay, 
Yeah, could have made it maybe a bit better, but didn't take any crazy risks. In the meantime, Tien already here has stacked up the Q, gets the knock up, and uh, yeah, Impact puts down the curtain. But that's yeah, that's that's about it. Obviously, the red curtains, right? Not sure what curtain I was like. What? Regardless, uh, yeah, a bit of a silly game uh, again. Look at the gold lead; it's not insurmountable, right? But uh, it's going to get much worse in the next couple of moments, right? This baby dragon is, I mean, he is starving, right? He is only 300 gold ahead of a, like, a literal starving Senna. And I mean, here it's called JJ's turn, he gets Dovin. Joan already dead, there's the Starfall, okay, so at least that's one tail. But can you really do something here, upper over the wall? Oh uh, man, if he if Appa played this a bit more brazenly, but maybe he can still rectify his mistake. There's a TP, there's a W, Flash, Mako, okay, not sure where Appa was trying to fly towards. There comes the Q, one, two, oh actually no Q, W, okay. And now Umti is in relative danger, or JJ might be there to help him. Oh, he just might want to form the wave, okay. Crazy series of plays here. TL actually like stabilizing. Not, 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 not really. If you look at the gold, uh, yeah, far, from, far from stable game state. But uh, important gold, especially on the Aurelian Soul. Um, for Soul, it's it's not the best game, right? But the champion is pretty powerful, so like hey, at least give him gold, right? Better than nothing. Okay, going in with the next play. Tian here. I mean, what is it with these like Sinjaos, man? They are so crazy right now. They're all so powerful, and it's like again, it feels like it feels like we just saw like a what is it, like a five v three or something in TL's jungle. But meantime, you, meanwhile, you look at the map and it's actually like a four v five or something um, in TL's favor, right? Because the Orn was split pushing top lane, right? Okay, Jack Love. Okay, finally he gets hit by a hook. Call JJ finally lands something. But uh, can you actually play here? Like, I don't think so. You're actually overextending. Uh, okay, You're, they're not getting punished for it, but uh, yeah, crazy. Oh my god, Mako solo killed their mid laner. Appa is not beating Appa. Yeah, I think Appa, whatever is his name. I mean, he's not beating any allegations. What the fuck? Last year he was uh, a 6 1 trick, I think, was the allegation. And now the champions he is playing, I mean, he's getting humbled, right? He's getting 1v1 by uh, like everyone on the map. I mean, these everyones are Mako, 369, TN. And I mean, he has not lost to others yet, I think. But uh, yeah, I mean. It, there are a few world champion or uh, world champion uh, level players uh, like in this uh, in this TES squad. So yeah, it's not too bad, right, to lose against them. But these are retired superstars mostly, right? So uh, whatever. Okay, so TL here picks up a a needed dragon and a kill. Right, they traded, I think, uh, with the top lane turret there, which is obviously like all the gold in the world. Not sure what impact was like thinking there, but maybe next year it works out. Umpti, my friend, uh, like cool that you're looking for a play, but uh, like I don't know, your team is not in a position to make plays. That's your mid laner also in grave danger. Okay, they don't collapse. Now hook onto Mako exactly what you want to get core JJ. Brilliant. Omti trying to get in. Okay, they, they have Mako, but that's that's just the tank support horn. I I don't know man. Especially it's like what are you fighting for? At 20 minutes. Are you fighting for Baron here realistically? Are you fighting for Dragon? What are you fighting for? You're fighting for nothing. I mean it's just, it's just wild. I also don't understand why they go like full Uga Booga scaling, right? I mean... I okay. It's like, 
Why, like, why would you go for this angle? Okay, TNs, TP, or recall has been cancelled here. But there comes the TP, and like, do you even have enough damage to deal with this? Actually, they have double TP. You actually just Omega fuck. Uh, yeah, you thought you get a kill, but no, you have to pay with your life, your flesh, and your honor, and everything that you send for. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's so wild, man. I mean, we expected them to like beat them, but TL is so far not even like really trying. It feels like. I mean, they're trying, obviously, but. Like, there's no semblance of like any like counterplay like they're looking for. Like they're not looking to play the map, like like at all. They're always trying to uh, oh let's fight oh let's fight oh let's fight, right? It's like that's that's just not how you play this League of Legends, right? Especially if you know your opponent is better. Like G2 in their best, right? Played the map well and created favorable situations for them. Where then they could actually shine with like at least decent mechanics. Not saying they were shit, but it's not that G2 was a mechanical wonder team that smurfed on everyone. They played smart, got advantages, and then used that to to maneuver uh, themselves into proper positions and then manifest victories, right? That, and that's literally how you play the, the the game, right? You don't need to and like fight, 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 fight again, right? Especially if you're behind, especially if you want to scale, then you need to chill out. Right? I don't know what their plan is. Let's see if in game number three they can turn it all around or if it will just be an expected 3-0 for TS and uh, yeah, NA will get just tumbled a bit more. Okay, my friends, in game number three, um, yeah, I, mean, I don't know what we have to say. We see Jin and Nami? It's like, what? What? Jin in this game? Okay, let's just see. We have a bit of a lane swap situation again. Uh, people flamed FlyQuest for you for doing uh, lane swaps in playing stage, but I mean, it's just a completely normal like strategy, right? Where it's like, yeah, it's like that's what you do. T. Okay, okay. Top laners struggling, crying. Uh, okay, recall here interrupted. Yeah, big, big. On the other side, impact is at least level two. Right? Something. And okay, yeah, so Koji J at least doing something here. Um, already probably more impact than in the prior games. Okay, here another stun. Four people in bot trying to set up for the tower dive. Okay, it's Kisante, but like even Kisante should not be enough here. First blood, okay, very good. Um, yeah, so far, like so good, right? They're also. On the bot side, right? Because TES is the one initiating the lane swap, uh, meaning that they're uh, that the bot lane turret obviously is like squishier, uh, so they should have gotten more plates, right? And yeah, I mean it's equal with, uh, with plates, right? Um, obviously TL wait, wasted some time with uh, getting the kill onto the 369, so like that's maybe the equalizer there, but uh, normally. Uh, yeah, I mean it's the it's the classic. Oh, I I'm I want to make sure that they're truly recalling in there. So let me just uh, put my face in there. That's like oh, is this uh, is this oven hot? And then you touch it, and it's like oh, my hand is burned. Anyway, uh, so far I mean, TN versus Umti. Last game clearly went into TN's favor. Clearly. Uh, game number one was a bit more even. I think both played well. Uh, mm. And yeah, he just gets ran down and killed. Very good that uh, we we play uh, Jin. But uh, yeah, also pretty sad. I mean, Impact like literally got like counter jumbled in the in the last game, right? He thought he would play against uh, Orn, and then he ended up playing. Uh, range versus melee matchup with uh, Rumble from behind. Just not great. Don't remember game number one matchup, but uh, yeah. regardless, here, yeah. Shutdown collected onto Jackie Love with the use of TP. Very nicely done by Umpi and Impact. Uh, which, like, I think would say are like the best players on TL right now. Core obviously can play the game, but I mean, it's a bit hit or miss in the last couple of years. Um, 
And uh, yeah, Dream forces out something here. They already have the dragon secured, so he doesn't need package for that. So yeah, that's just an, uh, an easy clap, uh, right? Taking the ult away from Appa. Uh, and yeah, Appa, Yon, tough, right? Uh, but like, what else are we supposed to say? Why? Huh? Why won't you ult him and then... Huh? You have enough damage and tools to CC chain him to death. Why won't you do that? But okay. Uh, TL just continues to be careful, I guess. Okay, there's the ult. But they are like full HP. Don't he miss this Q? Okay, that's not good. But again, his champion is uh, like losing the one we want. So I mean, it's it's hard to exert pressure in the jungle when you like don't win the one we want. Uh, obviously, this is the same for lanes to some extent, but um, jungle is a bit more unforgiving in that department. Okay, let's see. We'll get the final smite. Seems like TL doesn't care about the smite. They just care about the fight. At least for now. Anyway, first blood turret still goes to TS, right? You invest resources into Herald, but then you don't get first blood lore. Yeah, nice. Very cool. And yeah, in turret, it's more, it won't fall, but it will get damaged. Oh man, actually, like seeing Koki now is making me a bit uh, like sad, right? Because uh, not sure if it's 100% confirmed, but they want to turn Koki into an AD carry mainly. It's just like, ah, nah, man. He's such a cool, unique champion with his AD, AP, AD, uh, like carry or like auto attack, but also mostly AD caster, poke champion. It's just like, ah, it's just fine. Obviously, he is uh, like prone to being unbalanced, right? But, uh, yeah. Some champions' kits are just good, right? And it's like, shouldn't really do be too worried about it un unless it's completely unhealthy for the game right zeri kasante whatever right then like these champions need to like get punched but like corky is like if the numbers or if the items right or weren't in his favor then that champion doesn't fall too much remember the last couple of years right not years but like there were a couple months right in the last years where like he didn't have proper items to buy and then it wasn't all that great Regardless, your TL obviously uh, in this game also like quietly losing again and again. Um, we're in the 21st minute only, so uh, the 6,000 de gold deficit, I mean, it's just rough. But uh, yeah, TS, we have to say, obviously are playing uh, better than, ex not expected, but actually as expected, right? Uh, they weren't that clean really in uh, their wins in the end stage. So that's at least something that they can now uh, be happy with. On uh, the other side, TL, I mean, the expectations were low, but holy fuck. Oof. I mean, yeah, Core just gets eviscerated, Umpti goes in, completely uncoordinated on the other side, Appa and Impact are like chilling there. I mean, it's like they are just getting absolutely destroyed. It's, it's like not even close, right? TS just engages, runs at them and just punches their fucking faces in. It's like literally coughing baby versus like hydrogen bomb, but it's like 10 times as much. It's like, they're so, what is the, what is the English word for that? Uh, yeah, they, they just can't handle it, right? They get engaged and it's like, what the fuck? It's uh, literally the, what is it, Mike Tyson saying, right? You have a plan until you get uh, punched in the face. Right, I don't even know if they have a plan, but then like TS in engages them with their hyper engage comp, which is TN just uh, pressing WE, uh, and like they just crumble to pieces. Obviously, in these game states that we're in now, it's just like impossible to to play. Right, you're so far behind. You have uh, like yeah, you have nothing. And I mean that's just it. I mean TL did like did you even play? Right, who knows? I I can I I couldn't tell you. They got a couple of kills here and there, of course, but that's about it. TS, clean performance, nothing to see but another NA disappointment. Uh, yeah. Like, holy fuck. Again, expectations were low, but did they, did they, like, you can't, like, what? 
There was literally nothing. They picked scaling, uh, counter engage comps, right? With a Rillian Soul or a soft like that, where like the enemy runs into you. And they did very little with it. Here in this game, we had some plays with Umpti and Impact, right? Using TP or something to like generate picks, right? This is true throughout some of the games, right? Again, they got some kills. But I mean, as a as a whole five man unit, there was nothing that uh, we saw in these uh, highlights here, sponsored by the LCK, not sponsored, um, that uh, like resembled a team effort in any shape or form. Regardless, I mean, it is what it is, right? NA goes out, even if they fought like lions, right? Uh, wouldn't have changed. TS convincingly win and move on. Hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to not miss out on more MSI content. Obviously T1 also coming up. It's going to be an interesting one to be sure. Regardless, we'll see each other soon. Bye bye my friends.